Good morning, everybody. Day 175. Just left the parking lot there in Hot Springs. And we've got a, another 20 mile day coming up. It's 20.5 to get me to Max Patch, where Katie and PR will be up there in the van. So it's 8 o'clock in the morning. I left a little later than I wanted to. But 20.5, even though I get there after dark, I know there will be a van with a heater in it and some good company in there. <laughs> so yeah, that's the dealio. Right now we're climbing Bluff Mountain. Then we got Walnut Mountain and Max Patch. And then down to the parking lot. I don't know if you can see. We're walking away from Hot Springs now. Say goodbye to Hot Springs. Yeah. It looks like it's going to be a beautiful, beautiful day. I'm almost getting ready to get out of my alpaca and my hawk beanie. <sighs> Just waiting on my, my second wind before I start shedding layers. And I'm rambling. So I hope you guys have a great, great day. And I'll touch back with the cool stuff and the views. You know, just like I do, baby. Let's go enjoy this day. We have got a lot of climbing today. All right, we passed Deer Park Shelter. We're almost to Garen Flow Gap. So the climb up to Bluff Mountain is like a gradual up for a while. and kind of flattens out like where we're at now. And then up again, a little bit steeper of an up to the top of Bluff Mountain. But we're making progress. All right, so this is Garen Flow Gap. And the road here is way better than what I remember it. You know what I should have did? Yesterday, I should have came to Garen Flow Gap. There's some good parking here, and that would have set me up for a shorter two to more days. I wasn't even thinking about getting into Garen Flow Gap. I knew people could get back in there because I've seen trail magic there and vehicles there, but the road looks really nice now, like... I'll probably take a nice car up there, from what I saw anyways. All right, now we're gonna start climbing bluff, four point, four to the top, I think, four point something. This ice. How cool is that, huh? Yeah. A2. <laughs> We're almost to the top of Bluff Mountain. Oh, can't tell. I had to get a base layer shirt, just rocking this R1 with these big baffles. <laughs> I had nipple chafed. I don't know if you guys ever had nipple chafed before. Mm, it's not pleasant. 
not at all. <laughs> so yesterday when we were at Hot Springs, I cruised in the outfitter and got this. It's just a, I think it's Terramar is the brand name. You know, you get what they have when you need something right away. Yeah, I don't recommend any kind of chafing. I'd never ever get chafing. Like I got it one time in 2012 and that was it. So when I got the nipple chafe, whoo, like I know what runners are talking about. Ooh, look. Blue blaze to water. I don't need water right now. We're just gonna keep going up. Up to the top of bluff. Yeah, nipple chafe. No fun. <laughs> <laughs> Top of Bluff Mountain. 4,680 feet. It's the highest elevation we're going to be at today. There's not really any views up here, but we're going to drop down. We'll climb up Walnut Mountain. Walnut Mountain's got some views. And then from there, we'll drop down to Lemon Gap. And then up to... Max patch but that was definitely my longest climb of the day it says here on my gps uh 10.8 miles it's never always right but it's close so that's how long it takes to get up top of bluff not things in the last four miles is just like a steady just a grind <laughs> But it's over. This is Kale Gap. Good camping here. I've never stayed here before, but I've always been like, ooh, look at this spot. Although I don't really trust many of these trees, but there's a real good spot right there. I don't know if that takes you to water or what. I've never investigated anything around here. <laughs> But yeah, Kale Gap. Now we're gonna climb up Walnut Mountain. Up down, up down, up down, up down. Walnut Mountain Shelter. This is an old looking shelter here. Do got some good camping up here though. There's no way I'd stay in this thing. <sighs> no thanks. The best thing about this shelter is this picnic table. And you're almost to the top of the mountain. Oh, oh, and one more thing. Look. Must be on the North Carolina side. There's a privy. North Carolina gold right there. Boop. That's where we came from. This is the top of Walnut Mountain. I would say so. It's pretty up here. 
So all this meadow on the top of this mountain. <laughs> How many times can you say that? It's pretty awesome. Lemon Gap. Max patch is 5.4. Hot Springs is 14.4. What's that's wrong. So I think I got a 20 and a half mile day. Look at this road, don't look bad at all. Katie Frack could have got up here. Looks pretty good, actually. Anyways. Lemon Gap, now we got a really, really gradual, gradual climb up to Max Patch. And it's beautiful on the way. Ooh, I like the old sign better. There's them weaving in and out of like the mountain area here. That's the other way. <laughs> and I think we're three miles from Max Patch, if I had to guess. What a pretty walk. Boop. Across the road, that's where we just came from. Oh, well, looky here. Katie and Mr. PR. I hiked in from the road over Max Patch to meet me. Now we can all go over Max Patch together. Yay! That's cool. Time. And apparently she's got a parking spot where nobody's around us. It's even better. Mm -hmm. Just like camera spots. That's how I like my parking spots. We're at a water too. Oh, it's even better. What's it say? The forest closure boundary. Forest closure boundary. We're leaving trees, everybody. We're going up to Max Patch. Say goodbye to the trees because there's not going to be any more for a mile or so. He's ready. Mm. Max Patch. But looky, looky. I won't make you wait till we get up there. I'll give you this one. <laughs> nice. When we get on top, we'll have 360 degree views. It's even better. Look, we're super close. It's just right here. Top of Max Patch. Zoom in. Boop. I 
Oh, beautiful. That's the PR getting belly rubs at the summit. Good choice. All right, let's go a little faster this time. Ooh. Max patch, baby. Got views coming off this thing too, so. If we get down backside, I'll show you that. We're a little early for the sunset. Pierre's protesting. He wants me closer, I guess. Let's check it out. Zoom in. I'm pretty sure this is Snowbird. Then back here is the Smokies. Whew. How beautiful. Holy cow. That's where it came from. Ooh, shadow wave. Oh, I got my hand in that one. That one don't count. Absolutely beautiful. Max Patch, we're coming down. Very beautiful up there. What did you think? I think it's very beautiful. It is. I think you could have just gone boom, way shorter route. How could I have I went a shorter route? Yeah, there's an easier route to get up there than what the AT is, I guess. I couldn't do that. I walked to today. Nice. So did you, huh, buddy? Yeah. Made it to the road. Oh. See Katie turn around before she said something? Cause she's got to watch her mouth on the video. She's hard to keep G rated for PG 13 rated. We're working on it though. <laughs> no, when I'm not filming, I got quite the potty mouth too. The who ride. You know what's awesome about this? Katie picked up some spaghetti in Alfredo, and we're gonna make some dinner and camp right here, right on trail, pretty much. It's awesome. It's not 250 feet from trail. <laughs> I love it. Look, wake up in the morning, just boom, bust out on trail. Perfect. What are you eating? What are you doing? I'm eating this. Cheese it's not hooked. Nice. Can't really see Mr. P.I. but he's right there. Anyways, end of the day recap. Day 175. We left the parking area there. 
right by Laughing Heart Hostel at 274.6. We're now sitting at Max Patch Road. It's like right there. But it's pretty quiet now. It's dark. 234.3, or no, 254.3. Makes it a 20.3 mile day, everybody. And today was actually pretty beautiful. A lot of climbing. Um, but tomorrow only leaves me 13 miles to Green Corner Road. And then another 2.7. It's like 15.7 to the permit box at the Smokies. So that's the plan for tomorrow. Today was beautiful. What do you think about today? Yeah, today was beautiful. Yep, and it was not very cold. It was sunny. Yeah. Views, lots of views. PR and I enjoyed it. It was perfect weather. Yeah. That's a wrap. Day 175, 20.3 miles. And I hope you guys had a great, great day. And I'll touch back with you guys in the morning, baby. Peace.